All right. Let's go, dude. Nah. Yeah. It's Monday. Like, chest day, gym time. Nah, I'm good. What? Why? It's like 40 degrees outside. Okay. What does that mean? It means it's time to go bear mode. And you know what bears do? They hibernate. That's, uh, that's not what that means. <laughs> Tell me. Have you seen any bears out lately? No, but... Exactly. What is up, guys? And welcome back to the channel. As you all know, the seasons are changing. The weather is getting completely different, and so is the temperature. So, when the cold comes, we all know it makes our joints feel even worse than they are. Adds on about 20 years to our age and makes our backs feel even worse because we think we can deadlift a lot more than we really can. So, in graciousness to that, I'm going to be giving the top five things that you need to keep aware of when it becomes winter time so you can keep on track with your training and diet. All right, guys, hopping into the first one, and these are not in any specific order, so just take them the way that you want to take them. But number one, focus on this. Do not neglect the gym. Do not think that since winter time's coming that you do not have to go as hard. I know people that also make the argument for some reason that fall and winter is the recovery months. For one, you should not need two seasons to recover from something. You're obviously doing something wrong in the gym if you are getting hurt to this at an extensive point to where it takes two seasons. So just push it. Just like Greg Doucette says, harder than last time. Every single time you go in there, if you're getting bored and the motivation is gone because it's getting colder outside, try a new program or something like that. It's okay to try new stuff there to keep you interested in it. But as long as you do not neglect it. And let me just make this clear. Guys, do not stop doing legs. I know people that think during the wintertime, they're like, oh, I don't have to wear shorts anymore, Dylan. I'm just not going to do legs to begin with. Even though they were already probably doing legs just one time a week. <laughs> Guys, I'm talking to y'all. Keep doing legs. You do not want it summertime to come back and you finally get to rip the pants off. And the next thing you know, it's going to be looking like a Thanksgiving buffet, except there's no turkey on the bones. So... Be sure and train harder than last time. <laughs> that being said, now that you are going to the gym like you should be, the one thing that you need to keep in the back of your mind at all the times, you should be doing this during summertime too and springtime as well, but wintertime, fall time, is you need to be warmed up before you go into a lift. When it's 40 degrees outside, you do not need to come in in short shorts and a cutoff. Why you would be wearing that to begin with and just hop right into the most heaviest bench press, deadlift, squat that you could possibly be doing. When your muscles are cold, when your body is cold in general, everything is tighter. You do not need to go in and try to push as hard because if you push hard while you're tight and you're not warmed up and your body temperature is not raised just a little bit, there's a big chance that you can get an injury. It happens all the time, you see it all the time. That's what everybody preaches nowadays, probably more than ever, is you need to be sure that your flexibility, your mobility, and everything is possibly and good warmed up when you start the lift. Remember that. Like I said, do this during summertime too. You should be, but just keep this in the back of your mind every single time you go in and you're cold. Not only do people just go in because they want to wear hoodies for the pump cover, but people wear hoodies because they want to be warm. And when you're warm, Everything works just a little bit better in the gym. All right, now that you are going to the gym, you are now completely warmed up. You had an awesome lift. The next thing, and the thing you should not forget during the winter time, is cardio. And I already know what you're saying. If you are bulking, most people think, I'm just not going to do cardio because I, sometimes cardio can stop the build of muscle. The only way that it can stop the build of muscle if you're eating too lower of calories. So think about it like this. You're eating more, you wanna go on a nice bulk during winter time like most people want to. If you do cardio, that is just more food that you can eat. Why would you not want that? Like, 
that's what a lot of people say. Cardio, you do cardio because you want to eat a little bit extra food. And that is probably the main reason that most people do it. But if you think about it, there are so many more benefits that it can help you during wintertime and let alone the rest of your life. It builds your cardiovascular system. It builds your respiratory system. It's good for your heart. It's good for your blood flow. There are so many benefits to doing cardio. So do not forget cardio. I know what you're already gonna say. It's gonna be colder outside. Nobody wants to run outside. No, you might have to find a little bit extra time to go to the gym, walk on the treadmill, the Stairmaster, all kind of different things. Look at me, I'm literally walking around my uh, table right now trying to get my steps in. So it does not have to be hard, guys. I know it's gonna be a little bit colder outside, but that's a challenge that I think that you could be willing to take. Obviously my cardio needs to be better now because I'm starting to breathe pretty hard just walking around in circles, but park your car further at Walmart and just walk from there or have to go up the stairs instead of the elevator. There's so many ways that you can get your cardio and steps in if you uh, track those to be sure to stay on track even though you could be bulking or main gaining all winter. I don't know if y'all ready for this. Mid shave chain. We just got rocking the old stash, but you see this thing right here? You see this? Don't forget this during winter time. This is not like your friend that you picked up at the 7-Eleven to have a good night time one night. This needs to come back actually. So what I'm saying, do not forget to track your calories. If you don't track your calories now, I highly suggest it because you can really dial in how many calories you need if you want to lose weight, maintain weight, or even gain weight. I use this thing if I bulk. I use this thing if I cut. I use this thing if I'm just trying to maintain weight until I can fully get down how many calories I think is in something. You get better with it every single time you do it. So highly recommend it. This is not the time to just throw everything to the wind and just try to guess because you got family gatherings, you got holidays coming up, you got all kinds of things to where you will eat more food than you probably should be. And we all want to try to stay as lean and ripped and jacked as we possibly can through pretty much our whole life. So don't forget this thing. Always keep it in the back of your mind. Always use it when you can because it will be a huge life saver, literally. All right. Now to address, I think, what is probably going to be a very big one. All of these have been, but this one right here is what is on every guy's mind and woman's mind when they go into wintertime. And it is bulking time. I'm just going to tell you this. You do not need a thousand calorie surplus to bulk properly. You hardly need any, to be honest with you. Every little calorie adds when it comes into the energy that your body needs to perform as good as it possibly can. Yes, do you build a little bit more muscle when you are bulking? Yes, it's not that much, but if you are trying to get the most out of everything, yes, a slight bulk does matter. But hear me out when I say slight bulk. It does not mean 500 calories, 1,000 calories, 750 calories. What I would recommend if you are trying to bulk and try to stay, of course, lean to where you just don't come into a massive blob of fat is I would go with whatever your maintaining calorie is I would up it to 200 and stay there and see how it goes watch your body weight get on the scale track your food do everything that you should be and you should slowly see progress you do not need to take a jump at 500 and then you'll gain fat with that and nobody wants that unless you're like obviously a power lifter than everything that I'm saying probably goes against it if you're trying to lift massive, massive, massive weights. I'm talking for the average man and woman. You do not need that much food. 200, 200 extra calorie surplus. Address yourself. See how it turns out. Make sure you everything is going the way that you want. And then you can adjust accordingly to there. So don't over bulk guys, it's not worth it. I was once 200 pounds and it was not the best shape of my life and I'm six foot one, right now I'm 190 pounds. So that is what you need to keep in mind. Alrighty guys, I know a whole lot has not went on in this video. I hope y'all got some good information out of it though. 
These are things that I always try to keep in my mind as hard as I can when it gets into the colder seasons. So I hope y'all go out there, have an awesome day, make today worth it, and I will see y'all in the next video.